Welcome back. Hello guys, welcome back to the Call of Dota channel. Last Bounty Hunt is a Dota 2 tournament with dynamic prize pool. Each match winner receives 40% of their opponent's active pool. They also can add more cash by completing bounties as follows. The Archer Bounty offers 5,000 US dollars. The Ancient Bounty offers 15,000 US dollars. And the Immortal Bounty offers 20,000 US dollars. Again, the Monkey King final pick, you know, Weeha, he can't escape it, can he? Now, why do they keep picking Monkey King mid? Both cores getting the farm. The spot on lane, Matu, 40 for 1, 30 for 1 on mind control. And you know, up top as well, Zap, 12 for 4. Miracle 11 for once, and nobody getting entirely shut out these first few waves. Mid lane, Nisha is. Oh, he's not, that's gonna do it! He's that's got him. gonna do it! He was able to get into the trees, pop that sound. Able to come out on top and get that all important first blood. Bottom now, too. GH is trying to roll away, but they've got the double slow on him, and the right clicks are building up, but the tree blocks. Ah, it's Micro's working, but they're knocking back. With the blast, back into the range of Matu, jumps forward, gets himself the kill. Mind Control still trying to find Matu in response. He's continuing to trap him up with the Treants. Matu tries to jump away, but he's not going to be able to escape. Mind Control will be able to find the trade. Having that shake as the three, you are going to be in line to, to get a very solid Blink Dagger timing. Nisha, he's under Ward Vision here, GH. Getting a movement. A little, uh, little slow with the Rolling Boulder, though. Doesn't quite get the connection, and Zapsaw's here, but with the TP in from Mind Control, they can still have a solid attempt on Nisha's life. Nisha trying to run, but with the two of them on top of him, they'll find him. A big pullback there from the Rock of GH, gets the kill. Matu jumps forward, but the Treants are out. A bit of Micro, and Mind Control should be able to block Matu off from GH. Remnants out, will grab him Mind Control, but GH will be saved. Well, top side. Matu couldn't get anything in response. They're diving in onto him. Underneath the tower, he's able to turn with the Fisher of Miracles. Still got the tricks of the trade to jump in, follows it up with the Blink Strike, and that will be a kill on Zai. It's another game where, where Miracle's getting the space. He's top yes. of the net worth as the, as the Rick, and we saw what he was able to do with that last time around, and there we had the, the official confirmation as well coming up on your screen indeed. Five courier kills so far from Nigma. Kuroki. In the river, Fisher block off. Who do they want to give this kill to? They'll give it to Matsu. Matsu's able to grab it. Miracle is fighting onto Zai, though, and at the same time, Zai, he's in trouble. He's going to go down. Miracle's able to get this kill, turning over towards Japs. So GH with a perfect silence onto both the two of them. They could go and chase down Matsu here as well. Miracle's still got a lot of mana to work with. There's the jump forward. GH is going to have the rolling bot up in the second. Mind nice Control route. in as well with the TP. Blocks off the entry of escape. Roll for from GH. He hits the slow with the boulder. It's a triple kill for Miracle at just 11 minutes in. For Miracle as well. He's dreaming big, but obviously one of the, mm -hmm. the items that massively messes with the Monkey King, right? You know, what, if yeah. he's able to get that diffusion into Nullify, the Monkey King just gets destroyed. Nisha. I mean, it already is. Nisha caught farming the neutral camp as Miracle GH jump in. Miracle, he's got the DD secret. I have to be careful that has over on this half of the map very aggressively. They're going to try for Puppy. And look at Puppy. Oh, go down. They're going to get it. Will the Whispers out, but it won't be able to stop Miracle. Miracle, he's able to sneak off into the shadows, and even with the TPs in, they just cannot catch the Ricky. Six clean kills already for the carry Ricky so far. He knows, he, like, this is the active role. Miracle knows, I'm not going to be playing just a farming creep hitting run. I'm a Ricky. I can make these aggressive moves with my Earth Spirit. Might get punished this time. Oh, tree gets cut. Yeah, GH was able to pull it off. Miracle, he has been dusted, though. He's got the hat. Oh, God, will jump over to the side, but Yapsil's there as well as Zai. Echo slam oh down, God. no messing around there from Secret. Bottom. He's like, okay, they're bringing a ton of heroes top. We have better ways to split push and to control the actual map. So they have found him. They managed to jump on a Miracle, the follow-up Fisher from Zai to get the kill onto him. Jump forward as well, blocking off GH. GH will pop the Magnetize, simulates the safety from Yapsil as he leaves GH to be taken down by the rest of his teammates. Underneath the tower they go, Matu claims the double. The Earth Spirit and the Ricky, but now with the Templar Assassin, with your Blink Dagger too, can definitely look to do that. But now Weeha. Yeah, I'm willing to grab him. With the Remnant, into the Fisher, and I don't think anyone else is going to get here in time to save him. The Wukong's command is down. Weeha surrounded, and won't be able to bring down Zai with it. That is a death on the TA, just in a bit of a position where Enigma couldn't quite help him out. Zai still having a look around, jumps in for the oh. end of his room, but BAM! Miracle comes in and one hits all it takes. 
to take Zai out as low as the Shaker was sitting. They do have to pull into the Will of Wisdom. Want to try and go on to Miracle. Despite not having Zai, but Miracle still able to blink strike out to safety over towards Kuro. The Sprout's out onto Nisha. Jig, he's watching from the side, able to roll in, get the angle onto Puppy. The Magnetize as well out onto the three of them. Matthew jumps in onto Miracle, but the cloud is down. Matthew's starting to lose his mana. He has to pop the ult as Nigma starts to force back the bear. The trap from Weeha slowing him down. Weeha being able to help out from the grave. Matu will fall, and GH, he's even controlling Yapso. Yapso still has the astral step to jump out as well as the dissimilate, but his secret having to retreat here. Roll oh, Nigma with his eye! Oh, he's straight back in! It's a beautiful slam onto the two of them, straight away blows up Miracle and gets GH2! Oh my god, 2,800 damage! <laughs> Just out of nowhere! They're, they're on the... There's a perfect fake back there from Secret. They're on the retreat. Nigma was chasing them down like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what you run away. And then just Zai in from the trees, bam, and they get the big kill. They're able to get Miracle straight out of the equation, and they can push on for more. We have Blink still on cooldown five seconds. They're trying to get him. They might just be able to Solar Crest active on him. They have detection. They, they do. Matsu's brought it in. Team player he is. He's got the vision. Mind Control will TP out, but all this Miracle is also down in this area. Miracle, the, the much easier kill. They see him. They have sentries out. Very, very quick smoke cloud. Will slow things down a little bit. Buy side for mind control to TP in. The slam's there. Not enough damage to kill off Miracle instantly. It has the tricks to trade, jumping over to the side. And Ty's been brought the rest of Nigma to come in. They collapse on the Yapsaw. So they turn over to Matu. Matu jumps forward, but he's falling luck. He's dead. They've killed off Matuma Man. Miracle's still alive. His eye throws out the Fisher, but it isn't enough damage. Oh. And there is a pause. TA nice. disconnect. There, they can take the fights and there we, there go. we go. So, as expected, Zai, no chance. They do lose the Aegis. Oh, Nisha TP'd out right in the middle of all of them. All right, so Nisha does escape. Puppy. Wouldn't be as fortunate. TP over from Mind Control. He's able to catch him out. GH with a bit of body blocking. So, hey, hey they didn't all die. They didn't all die. Yeah, they're, I, they're playing so well with with how uh, fast and how aggressive they're playing and responding to all the team fights. And I think they're really like, punishing the Ursa's oh, item build. Miracle! Oh, miracle! Yapsu just gets him with his arm! All right, easy kill! Easy kill for Yapsu. Weeha is going to jump in, try to chase down Yapsu, but now he's he's going to die as well! Uh, uh, Yapsu just turns it around! Miracle was trying to hit the tower and on Tenet, and Mike, he's dead also! He's trying to TP out, but Zai's able to cancel it. Do they have further disable? He's trying to hide in the trees, pushes them out with the sprout. But again, Yapsul lays down a remnant. They get all three of them. They just lost all, all three, three cores. cores. Side De of Team Secret when they're playing versus a Chen. Kind of interesting, because like the, the Hand of God and everything really does be pretty influential, but I guess they just didn't have time to do it this game. No, I think because of the, the defensive way they're about to go, because of the screen and the, the, yeah. the sprout top lane Nisha. Coming here with the Wukong's command, GH is trapped in it, as well as Mind Control being pulled back by the Will of the Wisp. They'll kill off GH first. Now the turn over towards Mind Control. He's surrounded. He needs help. Kuro and Miracle now turning up the fight. Wukong's command will surely Weeha. come to an end. Miracle tries to jump in onto the side, but Yapsil's already out with the Astral Step. They're diving. We are behind the tower. The rest of Nigma, they can't get to him in time. It's too dead. Mind Control stepped in. The smoke screen's out from Miracle. He's trying to help out the Nature's Prophet. Jumping in with the tricks of the trade. They will find the trade onto Matsu's pair. But Nisha, Jingu Mastery's build up. Another control from Yapsaw with the pullback of the Remnant. Miracle's trying to jump in oh, the smoke, smoke screen out once more. They step out of it, Zai. Huge slam, huge damage onto the Ricky. Miracle falls. Only Mind Control and Kuro left. It's a perfect Fisher line as well from Zai. It's the balance strike onto the two of them. Secret, they're just destroying Nigma oh now. My god. This game has fallen entirely out of control from Nigma. Back to see Nigma play just a little more cautious until Miracle has the BKB. I mean, I say they're smoking up. It's they, risky. They, 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 they don't want to give a brush. They're sure. scared. I mean, GH is going to go for the roll in. Will manage to start on to Matu, but now, oh no, Zai's managed to lock GH in with Matu. As GH falls, they do get Zai? on top of the Shaker. As Zai will go down, Nisha on top of the trees does jump out. Mind control, controlling him with the Sprout, but he's able to cut himself away with the Quelling Blade. It's an instant buyback from GH as Nigma know the importance of holding onto this area. Miracle, eyeing up the back lines, will get tripped up by the Remnant. The secret they're playing careful. With outside, things are a little scary. Yatsu tried to use with the Nullify, instantly bringing him down and out of it. Will still manage to dissimulate an Astral Step back as he will survive. Sprout onto Matu, cuts through with the Battle Fury. Puppy being surrounded, microed up by these trains. He's blocked in. GH falls forward. They get the silence on the Matu. There'll be a buyback from Puppy. They're hidden to GH. Matu getting the stacks up. GH is rolling bottom, blocked top. They'll kill the Earth Spirit. The Will-O-Wisp from Puppy. The buyback is paying off. Mind Control getting 
being dragged back yet again. Miracle, he's found Matthew though, jumps in on the side. The clouds out, we are convinced with the BK. They've killed off the Ursa. They turn over towards Nisha, but the Will-O-Wisp is down. The remnant of Free Absol grabs Miracle, stops him from being able to commit Guys, onto life. Nisha. They gotta run. A little bit less of luck in comparison to Team, Team Secret. That Monkey King with Orbit Destruction is always gonna be so good. Here we go. Miracle. He's gonna jump onto Matu, but Matu quickly gets the ult out before the smoke screen's there. They turn onto Miracle. Miracle with the trick to the trade side. Jumps to the back lines. Doesn't get Miracle this time though, and the damage isn't quite enough to instantly kill Mind Control. They're still able to turn onto him. Zai, fish around for two of them. Yapsil playing with the back lines. Puppy and Zai getting nuked down low by the huge nature's wrath. GH keeping the magnetized. Going onto Puppy inside the pit. Weeha, he's going for Zai. Will get it. Nisha jumps forward. Nisha trying for Weeha, but he's silenced. Plus the Manta to remove it. Staying locked down onto Weeha. The pullback yaps up with the remnant. Grabs the TA. We are hides. Do they have detection? It doesn't need it by the looks of it. They have the AoE. They'll kill him off. And with that in mind, they can step into Roche. Yeah, it's kind of the nature of the hero though, right? It's, it's a Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to be farming that much faster unless you go for a Battle Fury build, which we have seen some people do. We have do. seen. Yeah. Not great. Yeah, no. Michael Michael here. Job. This looks to be another fight where Secret are able to start it off with a, a quick kill. Mind control, no messing from Zai. Slams out. The Prophet is dead. Zai also able to get the angle with the Fisher onto GH. GH living for a little bit with the Ghost Scepter. Rolls forward, but it's blocked off. Yep, so pulls him in with the Remnant. GH will fall. They do manage to get two in response as We Are a Miracle. Did manage to work their ways round to the back lines. But Tumba Man's coming to join the fight now too, though. He wasn't there either. They're still so looking two to chase. Two for two. And we are BKB and TP out. They haven't got anything to stop it, so we'll manage to live. Because you can just not have to yep. worry so much about the Ghost Scepter. It's going to be important because Puppy, it's, it's, he does do a lot inside of these fights, just giving his teammates a reduced cooldown, a little blind lights. Like, there go. He's carrying Matu, mid. Yeah, they're going for him. He is able to make his way out of the cloud, though. They won't quite be able to kill him off. Malin Control does sprout in, jump in from Miracle, they're still trying to commit, but Matthew's able to Tatic. connect with the Satanic, he just heals straight back up to full, Miracle's popped the BKB, but he's having to be very, very careful about how he goes in, he's having to BKB and run away, GH has been left behind, the Fisher catching Miracle just as the BKB ends, he'll still be able to blink strike up to the high ground, but that was their first fight with the BKB on the Ricky, and it just feels much, much too late. For it to be any real use of secret are just too far ahead right now they're pushing up to the tier threes fortification will be used miracle trying to jump in on tanisha with a quick man to style and step away can easily get his way out of the cloud it's really scary now for enigma too like i mean it's been scary for quite a long time but they all get hit by this slow that comes out his eye is going to have an opportunity for echoes yeah, he's in he's holding onto the side he managed to disarm Ricky, call it, causing Miracle to hold off to the side. Mind Control is just getting ripped apart. It's 26 on Nisha. He's got the extended Wukong's command. It's laid down. Miracle's trapped inside of it all. Zai lays down a slam to secure the two kills for Matu onto both Miracle and Weeha. Weeha, he's buying back, but the rest of his team, the three of them dead. No buyback available for them. A secret clean up the middle lane. They're looking over towards the tier fours. They know that they're about to shut this game one down. And Nigma. I mean, it went all so wrong for them. They had such a great start. But going back to that first mistake, Miracle sticking around for that tier two tower push into Yapsil, poking, setting up for the three kills. And Zai also as well, that moment where he made that big, first big play with his first Echo Slam down bottom. It all just fell apart from Nigma. They were never able to get it back together at all this game after that. No, I mean, they had like a couple of trade fights after that, but... You can't make those type of mistakes versus a team yeah. like Secret, the best team in the world at the moment, and also a team that has overwhelming team fight over you. That's Weeha's gonna win, like if Nisha's gonna be able to do some you know, Nisha-esque plays to, to still get something from the lane. We'll see, I mean, already. I'm now that is the thing, you pop the pulse, but still we are just being able to get the stacks up and yeah, so on on those either like one of these this cliff side down south or the cliff side up north just to watch the jungle. Yeah, he knows Nisha's gonna be there. Immediately already. On top. It's an, it looks like another kill here for onto onto mind control. They just cannot play on this top lane. Mid, Nisha. Be careful. Also, Evenge hanging around the positioning. I think they might actually just try to use uh, when Weeha plays over aggressive to try to go for Reader, but Weeha, he's actually just going to be able to kill Nisha here easily. Oh, he is. May want to go. He's pretty low on mana, though. Hey, even with the one charge, he's only going to just have enough for, for the overgrowth. 
Mike Bud, he's already going to start the fight on top of them. Mass TP is coming in from Secret, though. But there's just enough for the Overgrowth to come out into the Haunt. Matu joining forces with them as they turn. Onto We Are, We Are turns with the Viper Strike. Onto Matuma Man and with Mind Control coming in with that Power Strike. They'll get the kill. Matu will fall. We Are still alive. He's able to duke it off, walk through the trees. The Nature's Grass this down. So Secret will kill him off. And now the numbers have turned up for Secret. Nisha jumps in with the Dissimilate. They take down a second. That's the moment Matu playing the other side of the map. Knows that there's unlikely to be any pressure from Nigma down here as Nigma are looking for those objectives aggressively. We are just going to be allowed to hit onto the town in mid lane. The fight will start as Mind Control goes for the Burrow Strike onto Yapsor. They do lose the Venge, but with the jump forward from GH and the magical burst from the two of them, they kill off Yapsor, trying to chase for Puppy. Burrow Strike back up in a second. They'll be able to set up onto the Enchantress as well. Nigma, they'll get Puppy. Two for one. Arrow onto Nisha. Nisha was sticking around there, trying to hit some creeps underneath the ward. The arrow connection won't be enough to allow Weehar to get quite in range. Mind Control is trying to chase forward with that blink. And that's Nigma 2 to sell. That's, yeah, the cost adds up. And it's the space. They forced them back. So this gives them more time to be able to farm up for that Spectre. And now mid. They force the heroes back. This is not all of oh, Enigma. They're going to be able to take the Aegis away from Miracle. And now with the jump onto Weehar, they kill off the Viper. They're going to be able to commit onto, onto Miracle a second time here. So he's trying right. to run. He pops them. Panzer Star Mind Control does come in with the Epicenter. He's able to get himself on top of Nisha. Nisha turns the Resonant Pulse. The shield will not keep him alive. They lose the Void Spirit. Enigma, they've got to be getting out of it, though. Yapso, he's just handling them all. The Fae Ball into the back of Mind Control. Lifts up Kuroki. Secret will come out on top. And Miracle's lucky that he gets away there. He almost actually died to the blade mail of Nisha. With these first major items and coming out at very good speed as well, of course. Just 22 minutes in, Manta BKB on Luna. Also pretty much touching onto the level 18. Weehar. Jump forward onto Weehar in the river. Kuro's able to swap him back. In fact, into the arrow as well. Nisha jumps in and he gets caught out. GH able to find that angle to punish Nisha's overextension. And now another swap back from Kuro. The stolen swap though from Yapsor gets him back where he'd been swapped away from. Quick reactions there from the Rubik. The arrow Ooh. comes in and oh, GH will be the man to steal the show. And he paused and said lag. <laughs> he paused and said Oops. lag after he hits an amazing arrow. <laughs> Last tier two remaining on that top lane. Ooh, the they're smoking to deal with. They might, might be able to get him here. Going to have to lead in Burrow Strike for sure. There it is. Arrow connection. Do they have the damage with the Epicent? They'll certainly have a good shot at it. Mind Control Ooh. revs it up and will be able to take down Matu. But, take, but they're not going to go anywhere. They're going to go straight back up with the tier three down there onto the barracks. Miracle focusing down the range wrench first. Looking for the easier of the two targets. Pots the Manta. Remnant does catch him, but he's still able to sit back and be cool. He has the BKB if he feels too threatened. We are getting aggressive onto the Spectre. Puppy, he comes for Puppy brought back for this. The heal from Zyde coming out. Oh, with the Still alive, he's falling low. The horse there, but Matu, he's being focused by We Are with the BKP, he's staying on top of the Spectre, forcing Matu to get out of the fight. And the horn, it pushes them back a little bit, but it doesn't get them any sort of kill. Kuro comes in nice with a safety swap. swap on We Are, keeping him alive. Mind Control jumps in, he's found Zai. The damage being spat up from the Viper from afar, bringing Zai low. Miracle offers the finishing blow with the Lucent Beam. They get the kill, the range racks will fall. Another jump in onto Miracle, he has man to back up in a few seconds. He's Getting very low. Yapso with the stolen power strike. He's able to get in. Kill off the Luna. But they're all so low on secret. They've got to back away. As they've lost the Luna, it is the main pushing force gone from Nigma. But there's two down on secret. We are slowly able to bring this melee racks down. And secret, they're going to let this one go. They cannot fight with just the three of them. Nigma, they lost Miracle, but they got the job done. Nisha, it's going to be Nisha's job to really get back there and get the double silence with his uh, resonant pulse onto those supports so they can actually make those aggressive moves on the front line. But it's still, it's very hard. All right. Kuro's got back up. TPs are coming in from Secret Kuro, swapping in. Mind Control jumps forward with the Burrow Strike. They'll get Yapsor, and they get more out of this as well. Mind Control, he's in on the front. He's tanky. We are pulse the BKB, commits on to Zai. It's a second kill for Nigma. Over to the side. Kuro, he's still alive. They weren't even able to kill him. They turn with the stun on to Nisha. The ults out as well from Mind Control. He attempts to dissimilate over the cliffs, but he can't quite make it. Nisha will fall. Nigma again taking three, only losing Kuro. And Butterfly done on the Luna. I mean, he's... He's even starting to run out of slots with that Aegis as well, Miracle. At just 33 minutes in. He's absolutely huge. There's the swap out. Matsu, he's in trouble. The arrow comes in. Matsu's going to take it out the front of the bike. Can he actually get his way out of there? We'll be able to sneak his way to the side. But he's still falling so low. Another loser being the Eclipse. Finishes him off. That's Matsu dead. 
Nigma able to start the push in the perfect fashion, killing off the carry. The only hero secret half with any semblance of farm. He has got buyback, but if he buys back, that's it's gonna be costly. They have to make something happen here. Secret Yapso does have the stop on a clip, but nobody in range of it. They do manage to lift up, grab mind control. Natsu leading outside of the base, but it's into the hands of We are We are turns with the Viper Strike. GH's arrow will be off the mark, but Matsu just falls so low to the, the the fighting power of the Viper alone. He has to get back to the base. Take down another tier three in the set of racks. They've got a 19k advantage right now. Oh, mid lane. Swap outside of the base. Puppy, he'll be the target. Does have side by his side. But the magical damage is bringing Puppy down so quickly. Magic Marcel over to Yapsaw. Nisha jumps in. They do get a lovely three-man stun from Yapsaw. That sets up to bring Kuro low. They'll take out the Ven, surely, with one final touch of the pulse. They'll get it. Yapsaw does lose his life for this. He has buyback available. Uses it immediately. The Remnant grabbing Miracle at the side. Zai, he's been caught outside of the base, though. He'll get the overgrowth off. Tries to sneak out of the trees. But the poison from Weeha, it's too much. Sigma have all the space they need to take down this second set of racks. A remnant out in place. Miracle turns over towards Nisha. He still has BKB Manta and Satanic to pop if he feels pressured. He's turning, looking towards Puppy. He's using the Satanic. He's trying to get in to get the life steal off. Won't actually be able to close the gap. So Miracle is now very low. Has been passed over the cheese by Weeha. There it is. He oh, swallows it. Back cheese, up to man. full HP. The Eclipse comes out. They head towards Matuma Man. My control is getting low, but they've got so much sustain. The Nigma can keep one another alive. They kill off Nisha. Buy back from the Void Spirit. The Fade Bolt. Kuro with the swap back. Keeps Mind Control out of the fight, out of harm's way. Mind Control will be able to heal up on the back lines. Magic Missile on to die. GH jumps in. The Resonant Pulse silence for Nisha does catch them all. Matthew's getting pulled low, but Weeha, he's falling low as well. Matthew does look down. It. It's no buyback. And Weeha's heal, the life steal is keeping him alive. GG is called. Enigma will manage to close up and take this game two in their favor. With very little slip ups, so they played this one very clean. I liked how they. And they're just locking a full, it's just a full aggro tri lane. They're just, they're just like, Zai, good luck, whatever. You know, you do you. We're going to make sure the Matumba has an excellent game at bottom. Again, my control just TP'd back down here. Ooh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot. Now towards the bottom. Mind control. He's going a little far forward. Yep, so. Oh, he's got both trapped. And Fish is out. This is going to be another time where mind control and GH are in a whole world of pain down here. Mind Control steps in with a stun, but he is dead for a third time in the first five minutes down on this bottom lane. And GH, he's going to follow suit as well. This bottom lane is getting crushed by Secret. Much um, anyway by them. Now they're actually bringing the support's bottom to try to make their own move. But I do see Secret. They're already set up here. GH. Fisher again from Yapso. Leaving GH with no root of exit. Kuro has got the cast. And the Malatix focusing down Puppy, pushing back the AM with the right clicks will bring him low. But this has brought time for Matu to come in across from the lane. Yapso trying with the body blocks. He's going to have Fisher back up in a few seconds. Mind Control getting bullied once Locks again him. down here. They are breaking this man down to the core. A fourth death on the bottom lane. Now on Yapso. <laughs> four from zero his four. Yeah, like Seven minutes in. And we might be able to add another one to that here. Fisher's out on Kuro. Sets up for the lasso. We, they're doing a lot of damage with the birds on Tanisha. And Nisha is going to go down for this one. This time Kuro will live. The Vida Restoration heals him up. That's As that first shot yeah. item. Secret. Looking again for poor mind control. Oh my goodness. A little bit of safety ball from by GH with the disruption. But it's a fifth death. It really is. And now GH, he's going to run. Uh, but there's, yeah, there's no hiding. There's no hiding with Nisha cleaning out the trees with the Firefly. GH going down again. This bottom lane, it's it, it's just a lot of bloodshed. And with Matsu sweeping around from the bottom, Secret, they'll start to push it onto this tier one mid. TP's coming in from Mind Control. They want him. They're going to start diving straight towards him. He pops the outer dragon form. Will allow them to turn around and dragon tail Nisha. But Nisha's still in on top of the Dragon Knight. There's no backup inbound for Mind Control as he gets taken out behind the tower. Secret doing a significant amount of damage to the tier one. It's already down to half HP. Miracles come across. The rest of Nigma on the sidelines. See if they can get a lead in. They'll look towards Zai, slowing him down with the Grave Chill, but it isn't enough here. Fisher comes out. They turn. Ice Blast onto Weeha. He's getting burst slow. The Familiar's holding back the rest of them. Eclipse coming into play as Matu steps forward. Slam as well. They take Weeha out of the game. Yapsil's heading up to the high ground. Kuro does get the Death Ward out, but it's instantly cancelled. Secret get the two of them.
They still have Lasso available. And Secret, they've already taken the tower. They're already out of there. A the ward will be dropped down, but Secret... Can they actually get on top of them? Nygma's trying. There's the jump. They will look to try and stun up Puppy. Trying to stop the threat of the Ice Blood. But in they go with the Lasso. Arctic on the back. There's a defensive disruption comes into play. They have killed off Puppy. Puppy buys back immediately. The BKB from Nisha and Matsu coming out as they turn onto Miracle. Forcing this morph to back off. There's the Fisher cancelling Kuro's death ward. Miracle with the final waveform. Gets himself out of the fight. They are surrounding Matsu. And Matsu is actually getting rather low. Puppy turns with the Chilling Touch onto Mind Control. GH still alive. They're heading in. Trying to chase down this looter. Yapsa though, in with the slap, turns the fight straight back around. They get the two kills. They over towards mind control. Four dead on Nigma. They were putting everything into trying to chase down Matu. Yeah, he's spotted by the ward. He's trying to walk back to base, but they are just gonna play with him here. Gonna get dragged over and easily brought down. And they might just be able to find... Oh, no. Is it going to be mind control? Oh, not again. Mind control. Oh. Oh. Dragonfall. They turn. Okay. They're able to burst the shaker. The BKB's out. Puppy has used the Ice Blast. Death Ward and the Coconuts. It's on to Puppy. Puppy, he's going to go down as well. By the looks of it. Mind control. A few more hits. And Puppy will fall. They get the two of them. But now Matu just storms in straight away, pushing them back. With the BKB already used a miracle, he has to get away. So... And he goes, Mind Control, hey, he's doing the job. Hey, he did his job. He got in. He got the bouncy rune. And he will die. So a bouncy for Enigma, but a... Every single wave is pushing in now, too. Again. And it looks like this time they're actually ready to, ready to go for the siege. GH is going to make himself some lunas. Ooh, when he's in. He's in. He's trying to go. Nisha has got to put the BKB. He stays on top of GH. Takes out the Shadow Demon. Over they go towards Miracle. Miracle with the waveform out to the side. We'll be able to dodge the Ice Blast. Lucid Beam puts an end to Kuro's Death Ward. Secret is continuing to play this game with a, a casual 4,500 in the bank that he doesn't even need to spend to have the power he needs to. Nisha, he's got the grab. He's got the grab they needed. Straight on to Miracle. There will be a defensive disruption. Is that enough to allow him to get out? Pots the BKB. Miracle turns to try and burst down Puppy, but Puppy with the Yules, he's up in the air. He's still alive. Miracle's trying to finish him. Waveforms him, but he can't quite do it. Has to TP out with the last bit, but the timing's there. Yapsor, he's in. He's able to stun Miracle just in the millisecond that the BKB ends, and before the TP was complete, as they kill Miracle outside of the base, Miracle will buy back. Matu commits with his BKB. Pops it. He's actually BKB in and TPing out. He's alive. He's like, peace. I'm out of here. We already managed to do what we wanted to do. I don't know if we anyone else is going to be able to achieve this level of farm. We've seen the numbers 11 0 24k net worth, over 400 last hits at 32 oh minutes. God. Mind control. It's going to try for the TP out, but they have many a stunt to put an end to that. And it's, it's what? Only nine kills to go. Nine kills to go, and the bounty will be secret. I think it's not showing mercy though, immediately setting up onto mid, onto Weeha. Oh, well, you know what it is as well? I mean, secret. You know, they're, they're, they're not, they're not going to end the game, Fog. They're playing this to the point where they are going to kill Mind Control 20 times, huh? I, I think they're going to try and kill him 20 times. <laughs> They'll take that a Rax. It's fun. the aim of the game. It's the aim of the tournament. They're playing for the bounties. 34 minutes to kill him 11 times. I mean, what's his death time at the moment? So 9 times. I mean, he's 13, so his death time... Oh, no. It's going to take way too oh, long. Oh, there he is. Oh, but he's in this. What? Oh, they got any detection. They do. Oh, no. They found him. Oh, they've got him. That's a 12 kit. 12 death. And they'll take some more on the side of it, of course, because why not? Now, the question is... Of course, will Nigma call GG at the 19th kill? Now the question is, will they start bouncing farming? That's what we want to see. Like, we want to... Oh, going in. They go in. It. There's the jump. Miracle's out for 100. And I think Nigma might call it. As this is them being dove underneath tier fours. No buyback on Miracle. They'll get the cast. Maledict and Death Ward onto Puppy. Free fire as well. Puppy's going to go for the TP out and he'll be able to make it back to base. The fish is out on the three of them. Nisha steps forward with the lasso. Drags Weeha side by side to mind control and they'll call it. There'll be no chance for the 20 kills this game as this one is well and truly over. 35 to 6. 38k lead at the end of it all for Secret as they'll take game three and with that the series. And yeah, this, this third game, it was a brutal one, brutal one Fogged.